What's up everyone? Welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. Alright guys, I know. Shame on me. It has been a long, long time since I recorded my last video. But in my defense, just please trust me, it has been a crazy busy time filled with volleyball and travel and traveling home. I'm in Hawaii now, so family and friends. It has been crazy, but I am excited to watch this match with you guys today. Today, we're gonna be watching the final of the CEB Champions League between Zaksa Kajajan Kozle, my team, and Jastrzewski Vigel, two teams in Poland that met up in the all-European competition, the final in Turin, Italy. This match, five sets. Crazy, just wild, wild match. We're gonna be watching the fifth set today. Let's do it. But also one more thing before we get into today's video, just to provide some context. Again, playing our rivals from Poland in the CEV Champions League was just incredible to have two Polish teams, the first time in history that this happened. But about a week earlier before this match, Jastrzębia pretty much demolished us in the finals of the Polish Plus Liga. They beat us three matches to zero, 3-0, 3-1, 3-0 to win the Polish Plus Liga. So they ended up winning gold in Poland and we took silver. So heading into this match, we were kind of like, hmm, how are we gonna beat this team? But we came out a little bit stronger. We forced the match to five sets. Actually, they forced it because we were up two sets to one anyway. So we were in the fifth set and we're gonna be watching that right now. All right, fifth set, Szlipka serving. We're on the far side in red, off the tape, perfect pass, outside to Fornal, and he bounced it. So, um, tough way to start that fifth set. Actually, in the fourth set, we had three match points, a couple of opportunities, and we just could not put them away. So, heading into this fifth, we were kind of like, okay, we gotta fight, gotta take that momentum back, but that first point didn't exactly help, but here we go. All right, Gladder serving. 1-0 for Jastrzewski, out. We will take it. He is such a great server, as you'll see later in this set, so we will take that mistake. Dave Smith serving our superstar middle. Nice serve to the line, four and all, what? Kick save. David with the perfect set, and we sneak it by the block. Why are they complaining? All right, we gotta watch this one again. First of all, just a great serve here by David Fornal. Pause, slow-mo. Look at that, just gets in front of the ball and then drops those shoulders to create an angle to target. So nice. And then right here, look, Norby touches it and then plays it with his foot. That's pretty cool. And then David, middle blocker setting, we love that. And then look right here, Tony Uti, the setter for Jastrzewski, is a little bit shorter, he's about my height. So what they do is they move two blockers all the way over trying to cover the court, but Benji sneaks it inside the block for the point. Nice job there. David Smith serving again, two serving one. Puts it on, Cleveno, perfect pass. David with the block defense, blah. And the point. So David Smith making plays here. He had that nice set. He has this beautiful dig right here. Look, just using his strong arms, strong hands. Good set to Benji. And block out, high off the hands. Great point. And we're up three to one. David again, three serving one. Wow, they're passing really well here. Was that out? Out, touch. So, gosh, Yashembia is passing really good here. Kleveno, good angle. Out to Boyer. I believe that went off of Benji's left hand. Great high hand swing. Tony Uti serving. I think he's gonna serve this to Benji. Two serving three. What? Free ball, out to Wukash. Quick offense down that line. Can we watch this defense by Fornal here? So he peels off the net here, look. Area four defense, off blocker, just gets his arms out. That is such a great defensive play. Anytime 
you're not gonna block and you don't feel involved in the play, there are still ways to contribute. And you can see here, he got off the net and dug that ball. That's such a sick play. Unfortunately, they just couldn't quite scramble to get it. We have a free ball out to Ukash, crushes it down the line. So that was actually a little bit fortunate for us because that was a great dig. They just couldn't manage to get a great set up there. Tony T had to scramble, put it over, free ball for us. It's the fifth set of Champions League. We're gonna take it, four to two. Wukash serving. Good pass. Go. Did we touch that? Out to Boye. Oh. We had been struggling with tips kind of the whole night. And as a libero, I take a little bit of responsibility for that. But with this ball, it kind of went off the hands and then it landed at maybe the one foot line. So tough to get there. But as soon as Boye, let's see, let's pause it right there. He goes up like this. He's not gonna spike it like that. Anytime you can see someone kind of go like this or raise his arm or straighten his arm, he's probably gonna tip it. So we should have been aware there going for it. Maybe if it hadn't hit Norby and gone to the one foot line, we could have gotten it. I don't know. Three serving four, four and all. Where does he serve this? I can't remember. Off the tape, nice, Olek. What's happening, what's happening? Did he get it? <sighs> I held my breath that whole point. So first of all, this serve off the net, right there you can see Oleg is going in one direction, has to use his leg strength and get that short ball. Nice play. And then Bukash goes right in the seam. Fornal is really, really shallow here. Look at that. He's almost on the 14 or 15 foot line, which he's in a great spot, but it's really tough to dig there. Maybe if he had been a step back, he would have given himself a little bit more time there to dig the ball, but he gets it up. It just, I remember it going right in the corner with those barriers and it was really hard to get. So. Great side out by us. Maybe if he had been a little bit deeper, hindsight's 2020. I don't know. He could have dug that ball, but we got the point and we're up five to three. Bartosz Bednorsz serving. Woo! Gosh, they're fighting these balls off. Tip! No, 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 no. First of all, this pass by Popivchuk. Just full extension there. Look at his left shoulder drop and his angle is out. Woo! Oh, that's nice. And then, Oh gosh. So he tips it. Look, his arm is extended. We should all be moving. And actually Wukash is standing on the three meter line, three and a half meter line. But we're all, I'm super far. Why am I so far? I'm not sure. That's actually a really well placed tip, but we, ah, it's driving me crazy. But hitters, if you are gonna tip, make sure you're aware of where, where those defenders are. You can put it in the middle of the court right over that middle blocker, a little bit off the line, and it's really hard to defend, as you can see. Four serving five. <sighs> I remember feeling pretty relieved there. I don't know, I think we were struggling a little bit in that rotation, and he's a float server that has a good float and he puts it in like 95% of the time. So when he missed that, I was like, <sighs> thank goodness. Norby serving, six to four. He had been taking something off of it this whole match, but actually causing a little bit of problems. Not a perfect pass, but a good pass. Good block touch. Tip to the middle of the court like that, like we, oh. Still a well-placed tip. David Smith setting again. Tony Uti digging again. Nice defense. That was in scouting. Cover. David, what? Lukash. What a rally. I don't even, what, uh, 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 okay. We're, I just have to go back to this whole thing. This is a super long point. So first of all, Norby took something off of this serve. I remember talking to him. He said he missed his first two, that he went hard. So he took something off of it for the rest of the match, but his serve is so weird that it can be effective. You can see about two and a half, three meters there. So not a perfect pass. Out to Kleveno. Great block touch, transition. Oleg, three blockers up. Tip, same placement almost as Klevno and the one before, but they scramble, get it up. We get a weird free ball. David Smith setting again. Tony Uti just defending like he always does. Defense. Lukash cover, 
Gosh, there's a lot on this point, David. Okay, look at where he's standing. He's straddling the three meter line and just digs this ball. Arms are out. Boom, okay, taking notes there. Defense again, and then the put away. You can see how exhausted like everyone was after that point. Fifth set, six to four. What was that, a 30 second rally? Insane. Norby again, seven four. Good pass, out to Boye, out to Boye, out to Boye, and he smashes it. I mean, this is what he does. Look at this, boom. Where did that land, like three meter line? That's insane. And Boye back to serve, great. Oh, was that out? Okay, uh, I, I don't know. <gasps> Off the block. First of all, let's watch this pass. I think I hesitated a little bit here. I wasn't sure if it was in or out. You can see Wukash is kind of jumping out of the way. I should have kept my shoulders forward. I lifted up a little bit, brought it off the net, but okay, okay, whatever. And then here, you can see on this play, they go with the triple block instead of pulling Tony Uti off and going with a double, which is fine, but you can see that Tony Uti here kind of reaches in with his right hand. And that allows Oleg to have a little bit of line to use that left hand. And you can see Tony Uti is really disappointed with himself because he knows that that play, he needs to stay straight, especially on Shlivka, who he's played with and against for years. So I'm sure Tony Uti is so frustrated because that was an out of system play that he got tooled on, block out. Okay, it is Oleg Shlivka who's the master of that, but you can see how disappointed he, he is with himself. And he knows that if he had stayed straight, he probably would have got a block or a better block touch. But we're up eight to five at the switch, Elvis. Nice help here by Shlifka, but I think this ball just went over and into the court. Nice side out by them. Klevno serving, float or jump, goes with the float. Benji out of system here. Shlifka with the smart play, but they get the dig. Four and all. I'm playing right inside the block, okay. And he rips it. That was a big side out because we were in rotation one, which is not probably our strongest rotation, but we fight it off. We have a good transition there. Shlivka takes a smart ball, sets it over, then we get another chance, and then he rips it. That's some great volleyball. Oleg serving. Oof. In the net. 7-9, Gladier. No way. Off the tape here, I remember it. It was just right on the line. That's insane. Nothing you can do about that. Next point, moving on, great serve. Gladier again, eight serving nine. Off the tape. Go, Eric. Save. Almost. Come on. Dang it. So this serve, it's a strong serve, you guys. Don't get me wrong. But it hits the tape. Look. And Benji's actually there, but when it hits the tape, kind of threw him off. Went a little bit higher, which is why it went back there. We almost save it, but two aces in a row. I remember thinking, beep. That's all. All right, 9-9, nine, nine, out of the timeout. Gladder again. Oh, we took a big step left there. Oh, Eric, good fight. Oh, I'm dramatically relieved there. So because we kind of felt like he was gonna aim for Bednorsh here, we took a pretty big step left. You can see Schliefka is <laughs> giving up the line. I took a big step left, take the ball in the seam, fight it off, and Lukas uses the block for a block out. So. Nice. David, 10-9. Do we get a real point here? Three meter pass, four and all. High off the hands, uses the block. Nice spike, nice side out. That's all I can say. 10 all, Hadrava serving. Lefty, I think he's into serve right now. He has a lefty spin, but coming from area one, so it's a little bit different. Oh gosh, I didn't breathe that whole time. Cover. Benji again. Nice up. No swing for them. Free ball. And the rip. So I'm happy with this pass. Obviously I was able to fight it off. Not great technique. I don't know what that is, but it went there. <laughs> Then we cover it, nice play. Out to Benji again. Look at this dig. Off blocker by Fornell. 
So if there's one thing I can say about Fornal, it's that he's playing some good defense. Watch, peels off the net, arms out. But again, Yastrembia just doesn't get the set out of it. And in these situations, it is tough for those balls. Those touches can be difficult. I had a couple of bad ones in the fourth set. But it allows us to run another play here because we get a free ball. And then we finally, Benji rips it. But that was some great defense by Yastrembia there. They just couldn't quite get that set. And you can see Fornal is upset again because he had some sick defense there. They just weren't able to turn it for a spike. 11 to 10, Wukash serving. He had been serving so well. Yes, come on, save it. Free ball, Eric on the money, good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all, I'm just, this was not a hard touch, but I'm just happy I put it there. But then right here, Elvis actually fakes out Wukash. You can see his approach is just not what we want it to be. But because he's just a smart player, he takes something a little bit off of it and puts it in to the court and it lands directly on the line. At 11-10 in the fifth set, that's how we've got the point. <laughs> we'll take it. 12-10. Oof, off that tape. Yeah. No, just kidding. So that looked like a monster block, but actually it went under Venji and landed on our side. So he was there and in a great spot but just didn't quite get over the net and point for Yastrembia. 11-12, Fornal serving here. Me and Wukash talking about something. Oh, he's in, out. Okay, good. 13-11, Benji, nice. Nice pass, great fight, out to Klevno. And off the head of Dima Pashitsky, who actually just subbed in for Norby because Norby was feeling some pain in his knee. So I think that was his first point. And he actually was in a great spot. It just happened to go right off of his head. Shimura serving, serving sub, 12-13. Benji, overpass. Oh gosh, free ball. That has to be the point of the match. I mean, given the context of this set. Yastrembia serving 12-13, overpass, free ball, four options. Look, they have four hitters coming down with a free ball. They go outside to Klevno and Elvis just gets over the net and blocks that ball. And you can see our relief, you can see how devastated they are because that was to tie it up at 13 all and they had a perfect opportunity. But Elvis with the clutch, clutch block. I'm speechless. I'm honestly just, I I'm clearly I'm not speechless, but that was just insane. To get a free ball and then to block it, to go up 14, 12 and match point. I don't know. All right, so Dima serving now. This was his third point of the match. He puts in a good serve. Nice block touch. And then he nails this ball. And we transition set David Smith, thank goodness. And we win 15 to 12. Okay, let's watch this point again. So Dima, he has this weird kind of funky serve, but it goes off the tape, so they nail it. Out to Boyer. Look at that block. Oleg is flying. Such a great block touch. Dima, the middle, third point of the game, nails this ball. I asked him after. I was like, were you confident? He says, no. <laughs> but puts it right on the money. We run it to David Smith, who just puts it down into the middle of the court. And we win the CEV Champions League. Zoxa's Third in a row, my second in a row, 15-12 in the fifth set. Woo! All right, you guys, what a game. If you have not watched the rest of that match, I encourage you guys to find that online somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Hopefully it's on YouTube soon, but it was just a high level match, almost three hours of great volleyball, high intensity. Every point just felt like it was the point. And luckily we were able to come out on top 15-12 there in the fifth set. Like I said earlier, this is Zoxa's third Champions League win in a row. Personally, I was not part of that first team, so I have two in a row. So I just feel so lucky, so privileged, so grateful to be a part of this club, this team, that game. And I have no other words other than we did it. We won. It's really hard to describe what the last two weeks of that season were like. After the Polish Plus Liga finals, 
where we basically just got destroyed. It was really tough. And then knowing that we had to play Yastrzembia again in the CEV Champions League final, it was almost like, how are we gonna do this? What do we have to do to break them at least a little bit so we have a chance? But it's a great lesson in honestly just never giving up, going back to work, evaluating the other team, but also looking at what we can do better to make it a fight. And I think our team did an amazing job of that in the week between the Plus Liga finals and the Champions League finals. So that was just amazing to see, to be a part of. And again, I'm just so grateful to be a part of that entire experience. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned a little bit. I know that I did. The 2022-2023 club season has come to an end, but you know what that means. The national team summer season is about to start. So stay tuned. So many matches coming up. I hope you guys follow and watch and support and cheer for all the teams, but especially Team USA. But as usual, Get out, have a great day, play some volleyball if you can, have some fun, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.